going on to all you wonderful and beautiful humans. My name is Mike Massey, also known as Mindful Mike. Welcome to week number five already of our program, Be Kind to Your Mind. I've had a lot of questions coming in about sleep. I've answered those questions individually, but this is my response to you as a group because those questions are still coming in. So many humans are having an issue either A, falling to sleep, or B, waking up in the middle of the night and thinking about their next day or what might happen, may happen, or could happen, or going back into the past and playing shoulda, coulda, woulda. So let's look at right now, what can we do if you have a problem falling asleep? Or what can we do if you have a problem waking up in the middle of the night playing this whole woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda thing? What I would love for you to do is I'd love for you to start with your ability to come back to your anchor point. And we've talked about one anchor so far, meaning our breath. Your mind goes away, we come back to your breath. Your mind goes away, we come back to your breath. And we do that over and over and over and over and over and over again. Why? So we can train our brain to be present in the here and now. When you are stuck not sleeping and you're thinking about what might happen, may happen, or could happen tomorrow, or when you wake up at 4.30 in the morning and you're thinking about how all the things might happen to work tomorrow, or how you might be short staffed, or how about this might happen, or this might happen, press the pause button and train your brain to come back to the anchor point. Why? Because everything happens in the now. Everything that has ever happened to you will happen in the now, and anything that might ever happen to you will happen in the now. So when you're worrying about what might happen tomorrow at work, that isn't the now. Let's train our brain to come back to our anchor point. What's an anchor? Well, we have our breath, we have our four in and four out. We have our four, seven, eight. We have our four and eight breathing. If difficult emotions are there, then lean into those difficult emotions and do the difficult emotion or noting emotions practice. Now, what we can look at today, besides those things we've already used as a way to come back to the present moment, we can use our body as an anchor. So when your mind goes away, we can direct our awareness back to a body part. Instead of directing our awareness back to our breathing, we can purposely pay attention to a part of our body. And we can use that part of our body as an anchor point. So typically what I recommend to people is that we start with a body scan. So before you go to bed, what I recommend that you do is you do this long body scan, the sleep aid that I have made, a sleep aid body scan made to help you train your brain to start to slow down before bed. I've also made, as you can see here, a four minute exercise that I recommend that you do this four minute one first thing in the morning. So you'd wake up, you press play on this four minute body scan. You could also use it after work, but I recommend starting your day with it. And then before bed, you use this body scan before bed. Why? Well, we're training our brain to come back to our body. So typically in our body scan, we start with purposely paying attention to, let's say our forehead. And then we'll pay attention to our forehead, our mind will go off, we'll notice that as a thought, and we'll come back to the forehead. And we'll purposely pay attention to our forehead. Our mind goes off again, we come back. And then we're gonna, let's move down to our eyes. So our eyes are closed, we're paying attention to our eyelids being closed. That's all we're paying attention to. Your mind goes, yeah, right, buddy, thought. Mind goes off, nose as a thought, come back to purposely paying attention to your eyelids. Then we go down to the mouth, the neck, the jaw, the chest, wherever I'm guiding you in the practice, whenever your mind goes back, purposely bring it back to here. When your mind goes back to thoughts or thinking or tomorrow, notice that as a thought and bring your awareness back with purpose and intent to the present moment in the here and now. What's in the here and now? In that moment, that body part you're paying attention to. And what we're gonna do is over time, we are training your mind to be more present more often where you want it to be, not where it's going. Because what the average person does is they go to bed and they've had a long day and their mind is racing and their mind goes, what about this? What about this? And what about this? And we go, no, 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 no. And we start thinking about all the things that might happen, may happen, or could happen tomorrow and we engage in it. And when you feed that monster, it's like when I'm working with little humans and I tell them, hey, just be aware what monster you fear. You might have that fear monster there. You might have that angry monster there. But if you feed that monster, that monster's gonna grow. That's what happens at nighttime, typically, is we have this idea of what might happen tomorrow and we feed it and, it and we engage in conversation with it, which feeds this monster and it grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and no wonder you can't sleep or you wake up at 3.30 thinking about what might happen tomorrow and you feed that monster of fear and it grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. So what I want you to do is stop engaging with it and stop, stop feeding it. Use the technique that we used early on in week two. This is a future mic problem. Oh, that's a past mic problem. What's happening now? I'm bringing my awareness back to the present moment. I'm focusing on my chest. Noticing when I breathe in, my chest expands. When I breathe out, there's a contraction. Breathe in, ex 
expand, breathe out, contraction. Bring your awareness to that. Your mind goes, yeah, I know, but that thing tomorrow at two o'clock, that's a thought about the future. Come back, use your anchor point to the body scan, go back to your chest. Breathe in, notice that expansion. Breathe out, go back. It doesn't matter if we're paying attention to your hand and your mind goes off, bring it back to your hand. We're using the body as the anchor this week. And that's the only homework I'm gonna give you because it's super important that we start to establish what to do in real time when your mind goes off. We can bring it back to the present moment. We can use one of those three exercises that we've already been using for a while. We can use one of those breathing exercises. We can use the breathing exercises to help us anchor back to the present moment. We can use those thoughts, thought versus fact, to come back to the present moment. But we can also use this practice of the body scan. Oh, that's a future thought or future issue that might may or could happen. Come back to the body. So this week we are using our body as the anchor. In a perfect world, what I recommend is you do this four minute practice as soon as you wake up. That's a four minute body scan or you do it before you go to work or after work is done. And then we use this longer body scan as a sleep aid to help train your brain to slow things down and to label to come back in the present moment. If you wake up in the middle of the night, you can use this practice again to help gear you down to train your brain to be more present. But once you have this established and you have the language down, you can use the practice anytime you want. When you're waiting in the doctor's office, you can tune into your body. You can just go, okay, I'm bringing my awareness to my forehead. Mind goes away, I come back. I'm bringing my awareness to my neck and my jaw. Mind goes off, come back to that area. Go back into the shoulders, right? I'm bringing awareness into my shoulders. I bring awareness into my upper back. Mind goes off, come back to that awareness. Imagine there's a spotlight on that. Whenever the spotlight goes away, just gently guide the spotlight back to you wherever you are and wherever I'm guiding you in that practice. Use this practice this week. Try it in the morning. Try this one in the evening. If any questions, comments, concerns, again, don't hesitate to message me. This is our first step in understanding how we can use our body as an anchor. So we're moving away from using our breath this week and using our body as an anchor. So again, it's not gonna work overnight. It's gonna take a system of rep repetition in order for it to work. But again, if you have any messages, don't hesitate ever to reach out to me at mindfulmike.ca, hit contact Mike, or DM me, of course, at Mindful Massey, M-A-S-S-E. I look forward to seeing you all. Keep those messages coming in. Peace and love, and thank you for what you do. Bye for now.